All right, now we have the markets down. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is down about 300 points. The Nasdaq is down almost 400, and much of this is due to Mideast tensions. Now we have oil up almost $3 a barrel at $71, and unless there's a full-scale war, I don't see oil going above $75 a barrel. Now we may have a tropical system in the Gulf of Mexico late in the week, and that may cause a disruption in oil drilling in the Gulf, and that could possibly add a couple more dollars a barrel. But oil bulls, they've been destroyed, and I don't see this commodity going over $75 a barrel, probably for the remainder of this year. Now we had the U.S. government buy back 6 million barrels of oil to put back in a strategic petroleum reserve. So the U.S. government, they're taking advantages of these cheap prices to fill that SBR back up. Now we had the port where strikers go on strike at midnight, and that means everything has pretty much come to a halt. Now it's going to take one or two days for the average American to, be, to begin feeling the effects. And if it continues, this is going to be a doozy, and we're going to begin seeing layoffs across America real soon. I mean, this is going to disrupt pretty much everything. Now we still have Boeing workers. They're still striking, and the longer that drags on, the more financial clamp is going to come down on Boeing. Now that company's stock hit a 52-week low earlier today, and it's since rebounded. But if this strike continues, the stock price is just going to head down further. And right now in America, it's a battle of the top execs, the very wealthy against the workers. And we'll see where this tug and pull ends up. Now we've had the precious metals, they moved higher on these Mideast tensions. But I believe we're going to see gold probably stay under 2700 at least until the jobs report on Friday. Now we had the jobs report come out, and that's the job openings labor and turnover report. And that actually showed a bit of strength in the jobs market, as job openings have actually increased. Now that's a stark difference from last month, and we'll see how long that continues. But I've got a good feeling it's probably going to turn around and go the opposite direction, and you're going to see openings decrease. Now these two strikes, they're going to muddle up the labor market, the labor reports, and we're probably not going to get a real clear picture in the next month ahead. Now we had the ISM manufacturing report come out, and that again shows control Traction, and that's the 22nd time in 23 months. And this report is brutal. Everything is contracting. New orders, inventory, employees, you name it. So the manufacturing in the U.S., that continues to decline with no end in sight. And these metrics, they're going to take an absolute nosedive with the Boeing and port strikes happening. So in the next month, the next report, these metrics, they're going to come in and they're going to be absolutely brutal. Now the layoffs continue and we had CVS there announcing they're going to be laying off 2,000 employees nationwide. And if CVS are doing it, you're likely going to see Walgreens. They're likely going to follow up in the next few weeks with an announcement of layoffs. Now we're going to have Nike report their earnings after the bell and we'll get a look and see if they've been able to turn around the lagging sales that Nike has been experiencing. And my guess is you're going to get the same thing, contraction of sales in North America and growing sales in other places across the planet. Now this market's red and we'll see if they can claw this back and turn it positive. Now the markets yesterday were down at a similar point and they managed to bring that back and turn all the indexes green at the close. And we'll see if that miracle can happen again today. This quick stock market commentary, please like and subscribe.